Thursday, and what do I have in store today? This intro is actually in the middle of the night. A little after, well, almost 2.30. <laughs> but I shall interject other things later in the day, hopefully. Uh, yesterday when I woke, I did not feel well. I had a headache, sinus problems, I wasn't hungry, I felt kind of icky. I had a very low-grade fever, but I know it was my sinuses. Because I've been over at Mom's and there's mold, of course, and dust and stuff, mostly dust. And, uh, yeah. I didn't get anything done here for the last week, and I was kind of bumming. And then I waited and waited and waited for the shrink to call me, and he never did. And I was really disappointed again. But then that same day, I got something in the mail from the clinic saying, Your appointment is on the 24th. Okay. So I marked it on the calendar. My hope to do things today is I'll have to check if it rains or not, but if it doesn't rain, I'm going to redo the little brickwork sidewalk up the side of the house. And I'll show you the little map I made. The front of the house is that way. This is the garage, the side of the garage. There's a pad, concrete pad at the side of the house as well. It's a one-car garage, but there's a one-car you could park next to the garage. I had a bunch of these 8x16 bricks, and I bought 10 of these. I have 20, 20 of them, I think, already. That they're dirt. They have to be dug up. But I bought 10, so I've got 10 new bricks. They're 12 by 12 inches. And this map I measured out from the end of the driveway thingy to the gate, to the gate back to where I have it come around to the patio. And I made all these little bricks with paper and fortified them with tape and kind of temporarily stuck them on there to see if they're a good fit and hopefully that should work. There'll be a lot of physical back break and labor which I know I'll regret the next tomorrow <laughs> if I do it if I feel crummy and I just don't feel like it then it's fall back and punt but it's 6 30 tonight um, I volunteered someone put feelers out and I said I'll do it to read a mystery theater you know like a whodunit clue you know and um, I think if he chooses me, the director will give me a part. But I'm not to know anything about it until the last minute. So I'm sure there'll be there will be some kind of written information as to who my character is, what my role is, who the murderer is, and stuff. But we can't. I hope I can do it.
Thank you guys so much. Good night. That was some sweaty work working on that sidewalk. The 72 Fahrenheit, 23 Celsius, and 78% humidity. I was just sweating like a pig. Do pigs sweat? I don't even know. But I was all wet looking. Like a sauna, not sauna. What's the other one? Steam bath. <laughs> I was like in a steam bath. I wonder if I lost a pound or not. I don't know. I was finishing up. I had to get two bags of sand, so I went to the hardware store. This was about 3.15. When I was returning from the hardware store, my phone rang. And I stopped at a red light, and I picked up the phone, and it was the clinic that I go through to the, get to the shrink. The doctor's on the line waiting to talk to you now. I said, he is? Mm-hmm. And I said, uh, I'm driving home from the hardware store. I'm not supposed to have an appointment. Oh, well, it was today, 3.30. And I said, I don't think so. Well, if you're in the bit, you know, putting the sidewalk back together, blah, blah, blah. Um, can he call you tomorrow? And I said, yes. 3.30? Yes. That's, that'd be wonderful. Because tomorrow I'm going to be so sore. I'm only going to manage insidey stuff for sure. But whoever is telling, you know, the communication in the health thing, it, it sucks. They have done this change schedule three times on me within the last four days without telling me. And then I got a letter yesterday saying I have an appointment on the 24th. And then she calls today and said, doctor's waiting on the line for you. And I'm like, what? I know the doctor complained about that too. So I'm sure we'll have a good chin wag tomorrow. <sighs> I finished the sidewalk by five. There was a message on the home phone machine saying the, the estate lady, Jackie, had a question for me, really important question for me, and I thought, okay. And she said, did you take a box of toys? You were over here, right? Because you left a coupon for the, we, you got junk trash haul? And I said, yeah. Did you take a box of toys? And I said, no. Well, what, what kind of toys? Maybe I could remember seeing them or something. And she told me they were like little spaceman toys and, um, little spaceman toys and a Batmobile. I thought, I don't remember a Batmobile. Did we have a Batmobile? I know we saw the Batmobile at a local mall. And I, leaned over and touched it, but <laughs> it's a don't touch, but I did. Ooh. <laughs> and I said, I was there looking for a Victrola. Oh, we have it, she said. Oh, I said, well, David asked me to look for it. Well, your brother only wanted that wooden desk of your grandpa's down there. He didn't say anything about a Victrola. In other words, we have it, we're going to sell it, and we're going to make a lot of money off of it. That's basically what reading between the lines and I said oh well I'll let David know and then she said she was in the little area and she fell backwards into a box and other boxes fell she said maybe the toys are buried somehow I said that's possible otherwise they might have brought them upstairs set them down to do something and then forgot and something else got in the way I mean it's always you know stuff like that in other words, don't accuse me, because I didn't take anything, woman. Well, we paid you, so we're doing this work, and we get to sell what we can sell, and then uh, we'll see what shape the house is in next week. We'll give you an offer on the house, or something like that. And I'm like, you, I felt like saying, you told my brother you would pay 3500 and you only paid 3000 These people are like candy-coated whatever the candy coating is sweet but it wears off real quick after you talk to them for about 15 minutes they're takers there's givers and takers I mean we're all can give and take but some people take more and some people give more I just don't trust these people I'm sorry it's just my nature someone that overdoes the kindness usually has another agenda don't like it so, 
that's where that lies. I messaged David and told him about it. And then um, took a shower, and at 7 o'clock I was part of a Zoom theater thing, which was a lot of fun. I was a character, like a dinner theater, you know, whodunit thing, and everybody got a character. My character was Candy, Candy Cannoli, inventor, inventor of chocolate cannolis or something. And, uh, or something, special chocolate cannolis, which the real recipe it does have cocoa in it anyway. Um, FYI. <laughs> so I took place with that for an hour and a half. That was a lot of fun. My computer pooped out three times. Uh, other people's computers pooped out once or twice as well, so the connections. Now, alright, now I'm home. And. I am making chili for the next, I have some pasta salad, and then I'm going to make chili, but I only had one can of beans, and I usually put two cans of beans in there, so i am got a bag of dry pinto beans, and I'm trying to reconstitute them, see if I can use them. I may have to cook them quite a while, I don't know. Tomorrow I'm going to be really tired. And probably do insidey stuff, and the doctor's supposed to call me at 3.30. We shall see. Upward and onward.